All right. Welcome back, everybody. Round three of the KO 1.0 challenge. To my left, we have mediocre commentator Little Cheddar <laughs> Dale Lorenz opening up here. Mike the Savage. And tonight we got a good one between Fong and Todd Schmidt. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to Outer Point Streaming. As usual, we are live here at Varsity Club in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And uh, we are set for match number three. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually, match, match number three. three. Yeah. In round three of the KO 1.0 challenge. So we'll give you an idea. You've already been watching for the last ten minutes, but let me give you a different camera view and see who is exactly playing. It's going to be exciting. I'll tell you, if you were here for the first match with um, who the hell played? Tom Manina. <laughs> Tom Manina and uh, Roger, Roger Pregler. Pregler. What a match. Man, that was exciting. Came came down to the, the wire. Um, Roger came up just a little bit cheddar in that match, which it happens. He didn't bring in his A game. We had a little chat after the match, and he was kind of disappointed in himself. But it's all good. So on to this one. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I am going to get things rolling here and mute my microphone. I'm sure everybody is in excitement about that. And I'm going to leave, leave you with Mike. Ooh. I'm going to go out and chat with the players, and we are going to get rolling. All right, here we go. All right, so Dale's going to go out there, get the lag going, get this nice strong match going for you guys. I think by now everybody knows the drill. They're going to lag for the chance to spin the wheel, see what game we're going to play, and first break. Mm, Todd Schmidt with a little bit of power on that one. Fong's going to spin. Nice strong finger flick there, and we are going to play eight ball. Well, I'll tell you, Fong was rooting for rotation coming into this, so he's probably a little disappointed with that result. All right, we will fix the scores here in just a second while Fong racks and Dale gets back in the booth. But eight ball, here we go. So we'll have a race to eight. Even match as they are exact same Fargos. And we'll put Dale to work the second he gets back up here, getting those nine fists off of there. Look at you. Are you doing all the work? I love it. I just pressed three buttons. <laughs> so what? We'll, we'll have to change that race to eight and get some boxing gloves off the screen I am on it oh, strong break but I think it's dry I think we're in for a barn burner on, on this match but I don't want to say it because honestly I thought the, the last match at one o'clock was going to be you know, for the first, what, six games, seven games? I thought that was going to be over in ten games. Yeah. The way it, <laughs> w yeah, it's, that was pretty wild. I think it went for a match similar to mine on Friday night. I think a lot of back and forth. I don't know Todd very well, but I know Fong is a an offensive player. All right, well, now that you guys are in here watching this, go ahead and hit that like and share. Subscribe so you get messages when Little Cheddar goes live. No. Why would you want to do that? Why, why, why would you want to even I mean, do that? Sometimes you forget to watch. You need a reminder. Agreed. I mean, except for Baby Cheddar. She's always here. 
That's your biggest fan. She is. And she's only four foot eleven. <laughs> so height runs in the family. Or lack thereof. <laughs> well, Todd's weighing up his options here. I think that nine ball stops me from taking solids here, but All right. Yeah, I don't think that's the shape he was looking for there. Oh, well, that makes it a little tricky. Now he's going to have to play the four in that lower left-hand corner. I think that's, that's where, I think that's what he wanted to play, but he rolled far. That's a that's a nasty back cut that close to the ball. Mm -hmm. I, I like what you said. I would have taken stripes, given where that nine is. Yeah, for sure. Powers Na it through. Nasty back cut, Mike wow. Misevich says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Confident stroke. Yeah, on Todd Schmidt too. says, wow. uh, hey, watch this, Misevich. <laughs> Baby Cheddar, what do you think of the new uh, scoreboard? <laughs> she says she's the smallest around here, but her heart is huge. She's not lying. And she loves you. She is not lying. We know you love him. You're in this chat for every stream. Unlike his other little cheddars. <laughs> Where's the support from those ones? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a strong stroke. This two ball's still going to give him problems, though. Uh, Todd, Todd came to play, I think. I would hope so, anyway. I still yeah. don't see the out. So, so far, we are halfway through and moving on into the final four of this March Madness Knockout Challenge 1.0 something something another whatever is uh, the Savage sitting right next to me, Mike Let's Savage. Go. Let's go. Um, and Tom Manina and whoever wins this match. And then on Tuesday night, we've got Dan Dumperdan Welch taking on Jesse Crook. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he's uh, whittling his options down and nothing to get to that two ball. Whittling. And he is leaving this table <sighs> wide open for Fong. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Blowing in oh. your ear. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I hope you all enjoyed oh. that at home. Somebody's not happy out there. No, it doesn't sound like it. There's some yelling going on out there. Craig Fowler in the house. Eric Swiney rooting for Todd early. Here we go. Brittany Nguyen. Brittany, how are you related to Fong Bong? That is the wife. Is it? That's the wife. Kevin Dorn says, another good commentator. I mean, obviously, he's just talking about you, right? Well, I I typed in there. I said, who's the good oh, commentators did? you're hearing? Because I don't think either one of us oh, are Oh, I didn't even see that. I either even... one of us are any good. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Kevin, what are you watching? We need one good commentator for there to be another one. Right. <laughs> Kevin, are you watching uh, Matchroom? <laughs> oh, baby Cheddar. Hey, Kevin, I got something for you in just a little bit. Um, well, actually, you know what? I'll put it up there now. That way you kind of get a... <laughs> right before the match started, I had to use the facilities... And uh, I got my new bathroom all in order. I mean, this is this thing is sweet, and I mean sweet. All right, Fong with a good looking table here. Shot the ten ball first while we were looking at Cheddar's toilet. <laughs> <laughs> good thing you can't see in the toilet. I'll tell you what, you you sit too long on that, you're gonna melt it. Yeah. <laughs> You Melted go, cheese. You got to go quick. He's playing the combo here. Excellent shot. That turned excellent, out so good. That two ball shot. knocked out of there beautifully. That was well done. This rack should be about over for him. I would not shoot this 15. That would be my last ball no matter what. I think so. Uh, 
Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I'm shooting this 11 all day. Pull back for the 14 or the 12. Yeah. I mean, he could save the 11 for laughed and, and laughed. What is laughed? That's what everybody's for doing at us right now. For laughed. <laughs> he could play the eight ball down by the seven. You know, that really isn't a horrible idea. No, I like I liked what you were talking about, the 11, 12, 14, 13, 15. Uh, I don't like this shot here. <laughs> Kevin Dorn, he says, uh, that toy list is a little too tall for you still. Yeah. That's, it might be made of cheese, but it's still big. <laughs> you know, when I go in there, um, when I use the urinal, it's a cheese whiz. <laughs> All right. Well, Fong here. You're more than welcome to laugh in the chat if you want to. If not, maybe watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 14 past the 11. Good stuff. Then the 11. Yeah, I don't like saving these two balls for last. That's a good... That's a good angle now, though. It's a good angle now, for sure. And Fong has no fear. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen this guy nervous. He's not scared of any shot. No. <laughs> I have never seen him get nervous. And he... Loves to put spin on that cue ball. He puts more spin on the cue ball than anybody I've seen. I've seen less spin on my dryer at home. I, seriously. <laughs> well, Fong with a nice out after playing that combo. It's fabulous. We're off and running. I don't think that button worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this one here. Okay. Huh? I guess we're just going to do the gloves today. <laughs> How does that sound? So I switched scoreboards between matches, and I forgot to do my, my shortcuts. So I guess I'm going to have to fix that right now. Yeah, you were, you were struggling before this match fixing this stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. And people... <laughs> Yeah. It's funny because you don't realize all the stuff that goes into this. Brittany Wynn says he would be nervous if she showed up. Well, stay home then. Yeah, probably not a good idea. <laughs> probably the uh, best option. Yeah, for sure. Oh, 15 ball snuck in. Oh, this is an interesting layout, too. Roland Star chiming in, cheering for Fong, along with my wife. My wife is cheering for Fong. Because she doesn't know who Todd is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just like I don't really know okay, Todd well. That's, that's fair enough. But I will not be cheering for Fong up here in the booth. I'm just hoping for some good pool. Can't be like Steven and super biased like he was. Right. Right. Yeah, I had to yell at him. I don't think he really listened, but I had to yell at him the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be biased in the booth. Just, Baby Cheddar not. says, since you're little Cheddar, does that mean when you go number one, is it easy cheese? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man. Wow. Okay, now let's try it, shall we? There we go. <clears throat> Stroke of good luck. No doubt. Let's see if the minus works. <gasps> it works. Ooh. Ooh. Firing it in. Oh. And has the combo. Not an easy combo. Or is that long view that you fixed? It's not easy, Cheese. It's not terrible. No, it's, it's not It's a good strong either. overcut uh, on the nine, not, but. You got to play it now until you don't, really don't have a choice. Yeah, you're done now. If you didn't break it out on the last shot, you have to play the combo. It's going to put some spin on that 11, though. Is it the. Not the right way or the right way. Joe Podhoff says go Fong. A lot of Fong support so far. Yeah, Roland Star, Roland, Justine. Yeah. You, you know that lady? Yeah. I've, I've heard of her. That's the wife. The old wifey rooting for Fong. I've heard of her. Well, Fong misses the combo and leaves Todd with a wide open table like Todd left him on the first track. <laughs> Trevor says he's seen tornadoes with less spin than Fong's cue ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Fong. 
Fong will move that cue ball. Is somebody still screaming outside the booth there? That never happens with pool players. God, never. Todd eyeing up some options here. I think I'm going to get on that seven right away. I might even play it now. I think and float down for the five or the four in the side. I think six, seven, float for the five. Yeah. Then and then you got a better angle on the four on the other side, three in the other side, eight in the corner. You talk like a pool player. Ooh, not a good one. Well, I didn't want to say it. We don't need to make the gloves bigger. He made them smaller so we can see the pool table. Correct. All you need to count is the blue circle. <laughs> no, I, I love, Might I suggest I love the new score. Eric, um, do they have optro optometrist? Wow, that's an easy word for me to say, isn't it? That word's bigger than you. <laughs> that's all you get. Um, uh oh. What's this guy doing? I don't know. Get away from the table. Oh, he probably thinks it's a coin op. That's why. Yeah, he doesn't realize he's got to go up and rent them. It's $27 an hour here at Varsity Club. Just kidding. Well, at least those two tables are tonight. Oh, this little... S oh, that's beautiful. Very pretty. I don't like having the seven ball for last, though. No, I don't either. This is This could be trouble. I think he's got to get... He's got to draw this five back to be a little bit farther towards the rail from the three as he is now and then play top spin on that three he's putting himself in a pickle here i don't i don't like the way he's doing that yep and now he's on the wrong side of the three and the seven man yikes oh now you just got to draw the crap out of that three ball around the eight off the bottom rail and around the eight yeah that's brutal because it's gonna have the wrong spin on it hmm yeah, this is this is tough. Yeah, I think I think you had to draw the five ball to play the three in that top right corner as we're looking at it now. Yeah, that's why I was saying play that get that seven out of there. Yeah, three shots ago. You know what they say? You got to get rid of your travel balls early. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, is he playing it off the nine? That's the only shot. I mean, literally. I think. If he is going to have to play this, he the, can cut it over there, but the cut that cue ball, ball is probably going to come off the backside of the 11 and scratch in the corner. Or you bank it. He's going for the cut. I don't like the cut. Holy he trails crap. it. Oh, my gosh. But he, that's the problem. You hit it so he's, thin, it's not going where you he, want it. He hit it well, but it's great cut. now he's got a jump shot. And that is not a good one. No, no. That is far away. Let's let's get to this view. Yeah, that's that's a pretty, good depiction of it. That's a pretty shot. Well, we'll see. Has <laughs> <laughs> hasn't been a pretty shot yet. <laughs> but I don't like this shot. I wouldn't mind it for a win. I mean, you get what you get, but you know, I would. I agreed with you to begin with. Take that seven out early. Good, good hit. Good job. Uh, uh, oh, if this gets behind that 13, this might not be bad. Well, that 13 that is, goes in the corner, Oh, it though. does. It does. But the 9 does not. No, but he's got a good angle on this 13. He'll bounce out for the 11. So as long as Fong doesn't overroll this, I think he'll be okay. Yeah, I think you're right. He has got an angle there. I think that 9 does go. Oh, it does. Now that we're looking at it the long view. It looks like it does. Well, it better because he didn't get out past it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Kevin Dorn says little cheddar can make that. The jump Oops. shot? I don't think he can reach that high over the table. You know, speaking of which, I'll tell you what. Kevin Dorn, if you're paying attention, make sure <laughs> or exactly what Michael just said. I'll show you exactly why he said that. 
and every one of the viewers already know. We got a nice out by Fong. So this is going to be a 2-0 start. All right. Let me get this on over here. Here, Kevin. <laughs> Selling my table. This is my nine-footer from home. By nine-footer, he means nine-incher. <laughs> so it's funny because I got this done on, like, Thursday or whatever it was, and our son helped me do the lettering and everything on there. And then um, I've had, so far I have four people that want me to make them one of these as well. Oh, you should have turned it around so you could see the diamond label compared to the two in the background. Oh, I already have I have that. Yeah? I have that view as well. That'd be kind of cool. All right, on to the break. And that's actual cheddar size, by the way. That's correct. He has to get on steps so to play on that table. That is correct. All right, big break with and nothing, nothing going dropping. in. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that one ball was just fighting to get in that side <laughs> it, pocket. It wanted and to. The, yeah, there's like three or four balls that's, nope, not going to happen. Denied. <clears throat> All right. Well, you fixed Fong's score, but he still needs a punching bag. Oh, Jesus. Steve, what is, uh, man, your, your you people are so picky. <laughs> your buttons just don't work. No, they don't. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the shortcut for those boxing gloves. You know, right there they are. Right there. It's not working. Can't I can't do it. Um. Oh, Kevin Dolan makes a good point. Very challenged. The drywall stilts. They'd be perfect for you, he says. <laughs> you have, know what's funny? I have some of those. So I draw blood on old people and do their lab work and bring the blood to the... The hospital? That's not funny. No, the funny part is oh. they're doing all that construction there. I saw uh, Spencer. Busnelli? Yeah, on his drywall stilts <laughs> in the hallway there. Oh, he really? He was doing the construction. At the hospital? Yeah. They let him do construction <laughs> at the hospital? And I, he was on his drywall stilts. I gave him a lot of crap for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Love it. He needed him just to paint the the railing. You know, halfway up the wall. <laughs> I I really don't see anything wrong with this rack, except for the leave on that. I, shot. I would have not. I would have left this three for that side pocket there. Yeah, I don't like the leave on this. Yeah, because now he's got to play this with a little draw and hit. He's going to run into the fifteen and and hopefully end up with a shot on the six or the two. I think. Yeah, that's the goal. Is yeah, the six two. That's a good shot. That was really well played. I personally, I would leave that four for last. I agree. Four or five. So if you can play the, I think you play the two, two with six, a little bit of yeah, two six five four eight. If you can slide over for the two to get straight in on the six or a back angle, Ooh, or maybe the five, two five six. But I'd like to play the five to get to the four. Let's see. They're both a point higher than me in Fargo, so they're better. Yeah, more ways than one. <laughs> I mean, nothing personal. I know. You know what they say, better to be lucky than good. And I embody that. Oh, that's you and I perfect. both. That's a perfect angle. Yep. Six to the five, five to the four, four to the eight. Ooh, that'll play. Like Shoot the able. gap. Shoot the gap between the 10 and the 11. That's a pretty tiny little window there. Uh, I think you got to play it to the I rail. And then shoot the gap between the 13 and 9 and play it either two rails back over towards where the 4 is now or try to leave it over there. I think he's got a bad position on this. here, And I'm going to show you why. I, th I would have played that 6 with See, look at the right. angle that he's got on this 5 ball. So, even, so now he's going to have to float down almost tight to the rail. And I think that's what he's doing. That's what I would do here. 
but I agree with right? you. Yeah. I would have played that six with top right to get the opposite Me angle too. on the five. Me too. And then run into the 11 or 10 there. Yep. Because now he's going to have to sneak between that 9, 13 and either come back to the rail where the four is or slow play it, which is going to be tough to stay over there. If he runs into this nine full, he's not going to have an easy shot on this eight ball. Or if he catches a lot of action on this cue ball and he draws. Oh, that's not bad. That's really well played. I don't know if that, I would That's really well played. That was dangerous as hell. I don't know if I would have played it soft, but it worked out good. See, I probably would have hooked myself. I would have hit know. that nine just like we were talking about. Well, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We've seen you play. Okay, two to one. Todd says, um, wait a second. I'm not I'm not finished here. No, no. I'm I'm playing in this too. I tell you what, both of these players might be five sixty fours, but they both can play over six hundred skill wise. And hopefully we see it. Rolling Star says we're better commentary than the WPBA stream. Oh, you're doing more drugs than my teammates. Well, uh, t so Roland, um, so her name is, um, oh my gosh, so the early onset Alzheimer's. I'm it telling is you guys, so, um, something Fox. I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> um, she, I've I've talked to her a couple of times. I can't even think of her first name right now. It's driving me crazy. So anyway, that is a Dean Raisler event, uh, Doctor Pool, and we have actually I've talked with Dean about it a couple of times. They've got we we literally just wanted to take our equipment up there, you know, with all the cameras because we have a mo mobile booth. And do the WPBA events, but let the ladies commentate. You know, I think it would be so good for pool to have, you know, because they've played in the Predator events and, you know, bigger tournaments like that where they've got Tim DeRyder and um, George Teachea. So, they've you know, they've got all the professional commentators. Um, Jeremy Jones was in on a couple of those. But I think it's... This is not cheap. <laughs> you know, the equipment that the ladies have up there is, it's already expensive. You know, so it's honestly, all it is is a matter of a little bit of lighting and a couple of different cameras, which we're still might, might do something with Dean somewhere in the future. Maybe not. I don't know. But I like, I like watching the PBA because they're, you know, they're, this is the, the second year, I think. They're in the middle of the second year of several new sponsors, which is huge for the WPBA. And the second year, or I think it's been like maybe 18 months that they've been actually streaming them themselves. Lonnie Fox, <coughs> I think. Could not think of it. Lonnie Fox is the lady that um, runs the stream up there. And, you know, honestly, they are they got more followers than I do. <laughs> uh oh, Ooh, oh that's gonna just, be okay. Just got away from. I don't like what he's doing here, though. He keeps making all of his balls. Right. I don't and now, see any way to get to the thirteen. No. I mean, if you can touch it with any kind of pace, it's gonna break out. But I just don't s see it. Oh yeah, Kevin Dorn said, uh, Lonnie. Yeah, yeah, it's Lonnie Fox. Nice little nudge off the 15 ball, or off the 12, sorry. Baby Cheddar, you are very right. I love the support you're giving, Baby Ched. There's a lot of work that Dale puts into this. Should have seen him frantically running around trying to get this stream better for in between matches. Yeah, we had like an hour and a half, and I spent the entire hour, <laughs> hour and a half on the computer. Everything you can do to make it better. Ooh, Tanks, man. A little too flat on the 14. I, I don't think. understand this. I, I really don't understand this. He's, he's running out of options. and he's He has no options anymore. Yeah. 
I don't. And he's too flat on the 14. I don't. Yeah, he's making this tough. There is a slim, slim possibility with force right spin to come past the three and get the backside of the 13. But the the odds of that are that's yeah. right into the three. Yep. It's so precise. I mean, you. Yeah, there's with that six ball there. Is there is that thirteen off the rail enough to kick it into the opposite corner? Mm, no, nope, nope, nope. Uh, three's in the way now too, isn't it? This. I don't like the angle on these two balls. I don't think you can follow that in at all. No, I think he's just going to play safe and pocket the six. He called and it with the double hit, but blocks the two a little bit still and opens it up for him, but. Yeah, now he's going to be in one ball hell. Yep. Well, maybe not because it's so close to the pocket. Um, any hit is probably going to make it, but Fong's a smart player. I tell you, he knows how to use move that cue ball, too. Yeah, Where, where's Derek? I mean, I, I'd say intentional foul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this shot. Did you I see do what too. he called? This is really good. The bank, yeah, kick that thirteen out of there. I like that. But if you miss it, you just sold out. Oh, he did. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like that shot. I, though. I, I think if it, if it was hit better, obviously. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Yeah, obviously, if it was hit better, <laughs> we'd be talking about something different. <laughs> I like the idea, though. I, I didn't even see that. Yeah, that could be a very costly mistake. Yeah, that's going to tie this up. No, can't say that. <sighs> no commentators, Jinx. <gasps> you doofus. Son of I'm uh, telling Todd. Oh. <sighs> I'm going to go out there right now and tell him it is your fault. Oh, man. Well, you're welcome, Fong. <laughs> oh, man, the commentator's jinx. Brittany, why do you call him Fong Bong? Because it rhymes. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Cheap as I hope so. <laughs> Whatever. Hee-hee. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Fong for about four years now, and I regret every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's probably one of the nicest freaking guys on the planet. Fong's a good dude. I love him as a tournament director as well. He is so good for the sport up at Mad Apple. I love him, too. That's where I started playing when I moved up here from Colorado. And Wait, you play pool? Sometimes. I, I mean... I play something on a pool table. Straight. I don't know if we can call it pool. Per dead straight. That's not the angle he wanted for this ball. No. I, I mean, this is super, 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 super straight, and both on the rail. Oof. Yikes. Boy, he forced that one out of there. Beautifully played. Um, seven side, four on the same side? Um, or four. Four. Yeah, I like that better. I don't like the draw on the four. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm definitely playing the seven first. He's going, and he's then going corner. I yeah. like that. I like that. Excellent. Well played. Now it's just the stop shot and done. Hey, you can't say that. I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's my stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, huge mistake. Mis wow, huge, huge mistake for me talking. <gasps> Ooh, Man, that was yeah, a great bank. That was a little great bank, Fong. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till he hears this. Brittany says that's how he first introduced himself. Was Fong Bong? Fong Bong. Is that how he introduced himself to you? That's what he. That's what she said. To, wow. Justine says jeepers to me. Doing the commentators curse. <laughs> yeah. Does he do that to you at home, Justine? Oh man. Probably. 
It's involuntary. Hi, my name's Fong Bong. You want to go out on a date with me? <laughs> Pretty, talk? please? Their age, they met on Tinder. <laughs> Hi, my name's Fong Bong. <laughs> it's how me and Justine met. On Tinder? Yeah. You're lying. I swear. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Now she's stuck just, with Justine. Me. Is he the only profile that you looked at, or I mean, have you seen him? You know what? You know what she always <laughs> says. She says I. You know they call it catfishing. She says I dog fished her. Oh man! Because I I had like five pictures of me with dogs that I didn't own. <laughs> oh, you're one of those guys. <laughs> the shirt off on the dock down by the boats. Everything else. And, and, I, and I meanwhile, he lives. He lives in a tent. Actually, by the boat dock. When we met, I lived in my truck, technically. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've done well for yourself. I know. Now we just bought a house in Hortonville. Welcome to my nape of the neck of the woods of the yeah, area. You're, you're of, in Greenville? Is that right? Yeah. We could carpool when we <laughs> commentate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll fit okay, in your smart car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not funny. <laughs> Definitely taking stripes if I am Todd. And he does. The only issue, obviously, is the two. And I'm going to see. The two. I'm sorry, the ten. <laughs> 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 it's like the, the two balls, no problems that's if you're stripes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that ten here, I think he's got a line on it right now. You don't have a mute button for your microphone, right? <laughs> I'm surprised that hasn't been hit yet. Oh, he went for 14. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> were, were you were you talking? You think My it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that 10 ball's getting a little sketchy. Yeah, this is this is poopy now. This is a good overhead view of it. It's hard to tell from here, but that overhead view gives you a good look. That's hiding back there behind that one ball. Yeah, you think you can spin that in? No. Yeah. You have to shoot it. Baby Cheddar you says have, it you saves on gas. You have to use gas. your stick. What? <laughs> she says your smart car saves on gas. <laughs> <laughs> Justine says, gosh darn millennials on their Tinder. Maybe we should uh, get mom a smart car then if it saves on gas. Because did I mention... Uh, a little too much angle on this 12, I think, to break that out. Really save on gas with <laughs> with mom. <clears throat> I love you, Lisa, a lot. I'm sorry. I apologize, and I'll sleep in the garage tonight. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Oh, he even tried to overcut it. Man. You know, he's working himself into a pickle again. The same the same problem. Yeah, it's You gotta find an earlier way to get to that trouble ball. I think the biggest improvement in my game was avoiding this. Is if you can't get to that breakout, mm -hmm. stop making mm -hmm. balls. Mm -hmm. Michael and I were both in the military, both in the army, and you know, it's always don't take all your soldiers off the field. If you know, if if you leave one soldier out there stranded all by himself, you're going to lose the war. Uh, you know, there's and there's. Oh man! I'll tell you, he does have an opportunity angle. now. I still though. I, it's still a steep angle, but now he's got to get lucky. Well, and you have to go for it. Yeah. There's no option. There's no safety here. There's no nothing. You have to go for this out. <clears throat> Whole bunch of high right. Swing on over there and hope you don't scratch off the 10. I hope you don't rattle, too. Mm. Oh, he had it. Yep, that's the he problem, though. He had it. Putting that much top right on it on the rail. These pockets aren't going to accept it. Nope. The only fortunate part for him is the fact that now Fong cannot make his one ball. Yep, one ball still doesn't go. And the 10 ball goes for the next round if he gets to it. I, if if I'm shooting here, I think, oh, well, actually, no. Safe won't work because that 10 does go. 
three and then find out what you get afterwards. Ooh, not good for the six. But actually, he'll take care of that right now. Play the two. Yeah. I'd play the two and bump that six out of there right now. 100%. Because then you still leave the seven if you end up on the rail. Sure. Sure. Bad. Sure. I don't, like I don't like the seven first. It's not horrible, but see, now he can just draw into the eight and play the six in the same pocket. Just don't draw as, as hard as Tom Manena was. What is he doing? Because you're going to make the eight. He's playing. He's playing the four into the ten? He's going to try to pocket the ten and draw the cue ball all the way back. Uh, I don't like that shot. I like the two six right uh, now. Me too. I don't like the shot at all. Because if you miss the ten, you may leave him out. Oh, what a great shot. That's the way I would have played it. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I was thinking, too. <laughs> I mean, it, I didn't see anything what, else. Was it not? <laughs> was that not the most obvious shot? I mean, come on, chat. Would have you not played that? Yeah. I mean, seriously. Trevor says, nope, move the one and play safe. Eight was blocked. But the eight's not blocked. No, it's not. I, and it wasn't blocked before, either. I don't think it was blocked for the stripes guy, either. I think. Nope. But... A little short on the bank. That's going to hurt. Oh, this might find trouble for Fong. Oh. It does. Ah, oh, think, that couldn't have ended up I in a it's, better it's, spot for Todd. I think it's far enough away from the four. Fong will be able to get that out easy. Yeah, the only unfortunate part, you know, now Todd's in one ball hell again. That's the problem. That's two out of the four games so far that he's put himself in a... Very precarious position. Fong can do whatever he wants for the rest of this rack. I'd, I'd play you know, safe right now on the six. Me too. I would hide him behind that six ball. With with the leave you got off of that two ball, play the safety right now. If you bounced out and had a couple options, you can go for the run. But For surely. But here's your... Uh, I told you Fong was offensive coming into this. He is, he is aggressive. I think he's just going to go for the run out. Yeah, that four ball is far enough out. You can draw into that 15. We're about to find out. I just don't know where the cue ball is going to be after that. You might have to play the six then. Yeah, I was going to say, he he will have a si shot on the six almost no matter what. Yeah, and he's, well, yeah I think you got to go. That six. one ball might be far enough off to play. Yeah, I'd, I'd, still, like I'd still play six one eight. Yeah. <clears throat> I would almost play this. Just avoid, just avoid the side pocket, and that should be the game. That eight's pretty close to the corner. I don't think you have to do anything crazy. That's the side pocket I was t referring to. Now it's just straight down table. Yeah. And it's a four to one lead. Soft top. And Todd's digging himself a hole, doing the same thing we we've been talking about. <gasps> oh, fun. overcut. Bong bong. It almost looked like he miscued a little bit and got commentator cursed by little cheddar. Man. What a doofus that Dale guy is. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Man. I'm sorry, Fong. That's brutal. It is 100% my fault. Well, I guess the commentator's curse is even now. We're Apparently, it's a real thing. We're all square on that. This is hit way too soft. Oh, man. You know... That Ooh. 15 skidded because of the pace that he... you got to hit that ball. Yeah. I mean, there's there was no... When you're hitting it that thin, they are going to skid. Yeah. You know, the skid is always caught. It's either dirt on the ball or 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a poor shot because the timing, when the cue ball hits the object ball, they hit at when the cue ball is literally like almost at that stop speed or at that when it starts to... Roll forward, if that makes sense. And then it, when it hits the object ball, it skids. Not not a good shot. Fong going for the bank here. Got I don't think he's got a choice. Cut. Yeah, this little backwards cut is not pretty. No. Man. Oh, he miscued. I, I heard the miscue on that and one. And made it. And what? Whoa. Is he hooked on the outer point? Oh, yeah, he is. I think he's hooked. <laughs> he is not going to like this shot. <laughs> All right, let's go to the long view. And we'll be able to tell. But I heard that. I'm sorry if I'm booth. laughing. I shouldn't look at it. He is hooked. I heard the miscue. Oh, in the my booth. gosh. But he's shooting straight. 
because he drilled that bank with him, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you know he's shooting straight. <laughs> he has the masse around yeah. this 15 ball. He's hooked by the outer point and the 15. So a whole lot of low right, avoid the side pocket, and try to make the eight. I, I actually, again, unbiasedness, I want to see him make this just because I'm going to get the replay button ready. <laughs> Not that it works, but... <laughs> oh, 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 my gosh. Well, he found a good angle, just just not good for making the A-ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I found a good angle, just not one to make it. <laughs> well, you save that in the old pocketbook, know that you, uh, you know where to find that corner at. <laughs> Great commentary. Man, thank, I... you, thank you for tuning in, everybody. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Couldn't find... You thought it was going to be hard to find somebody worse than you, <laughs> and then I walk right into your life. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Justine. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for kicking them out today. Man, that's a brutal leave on that miscue on the bank. No doubt, and I'll tell you what, Todd is breathing a massive sigh of relief here. Barring anything, you know, mm. like an earthquake or... Or, or Dale opening up his <laughs> mic. <laughs> <laughs> Two for the red, three for the blue. All right. Oh, what a swing that. From 4-1 to 3-2. Swinging. Swing. <laughs> well, Brittany, if you're listening to this, text Fong and tell him chalk is free. Yep, we don't charge for that here at the Varsity Club. Because that was two miscues in a row. <laughs> Trevor says, thanks, Captain I think Obvious. I'm actually taller than that guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. I want to go find out. <laughs> I think we should measure that. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be close. It would be close. He might have you by a little bit. Oh, you're making him funny there? No, I By think... a little bit? That's real. Just a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh. All kinds of balls going in. Include the one with no color on it. That's the worst one. Yeah. Well, the only issue is the 3 and the 10, which... Ball in hand? I would... Yep. I would, I would get rid of that right now. Yeah, I would that... either... I think I would play the 15 off the 10 in the corner, and the rest is history. I don't know. That 14 with the 7 ball in that pocket, I don't like that either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that 7 there. I would. I don't like any of the balls to break that out for solids, so that's your issue. I would almost play the 11 off the 10 and roll up to where he's got the cue ball laying right now to play the 14 in the opposite corner. Hmm. 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 I don't know. <laughs> Brittany says, "I know better than to text him when he plays." <laughs> hey, Tre hey, Trevor, were you talking to me or Michael? I'm assuming Michael. Oh yeah, I think he was yeah. talking about me, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <clears throat> about finding a good angle. Yeah, <laughs> just not the one. Yeah, that he that's, needed. yeah, that is true. Then, <laughs> Trevor. Vote or don't. <laughs> Poor well, if commentary. You, if you're if you're playing stripes, this would be the last ball I shoot first. It wouldn't be the first I, I don't, one. Ball I hand. don't understand why you would play that ball first, given where the 14 is. Yeah, it would have been the 14 or the 11 off the 10. I think those are your only two options. I, I don't understand this. I guess he's he thinks he's got a better breakout here. He's going for it right now. What in the Sam? Oh, well, it worked out. <laughs> I don't know. What? And this gives you a good angle to get on the 14. What just happened? I'm not real sure. This might... You, you could make the 7 tell here you what, and bounce out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the 10-11 the si uh, lined up perfectly for the combo. Uh, you you telling me you and didn't now, see this shot coming in? <laughs> you played <what>? this perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'd like to apologize to all of our viewers and especially those that are cheering on Fong. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're just second we're guessing just, him. We're messing up. We're just messing with Fong. Well, he didn't move that seven ball like he wanted to, so 
I I would actually look at the angle that he's got on this ten ball Draw right open. now because he can pull it over yeah. and get that fourteen out of there. Or so he's playing the bank combo. This is he never even looked at the ten. He didn't look at anything. No, he had his mind made up, and it looks good. Oh my gosh! Wow! Did you get far enough for that fifteen? Ooh. We need another long rail view from the other side. If he's got room on this 15, he's he's good. And Fong is Fong's here to play. That's a He made a decision and went for it. Mm. Wow. I thought maybe it was going to go back down the table and go in. I kind of thought it did. But the table's not level, so it came out. I know. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Came out away from the rail. <laughs> if anybody's wondering, this is the table that Dale plays league on, so it's tilted to his advantage. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> All right, I got to check this out and see if it works. Guess what? It doesn't. <laughs> is that your replay? <laughs> your instant replay still doesn't work. Wait a second. Wait a second. Damn it. <laughs> Son of a... Well, that 1-6 is wired into the corner. So if he can get these other two, three balls out of there and on one of them get shaped down here, he'll be okay. Okay, Kevin Dorn, explain yourself. Um... It said, like Dale always said, I was right again. I have never said that about you, ever, that you were right. <laughs> what were, what that were you right about? Ne yeah. That would never come. Even if you were, I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, Kevin. <laughs> oh, man. Todd's got himself in a little bit of a pickle on this. I'm trying to talk uh, Trevor Simpson into becoming my new IT guy and driving an hour and a half every time I have like a <laughs> itty bitty little. <laughs> Anytime glitch. you have a, a 30 second problem. All right. All right. Well, you charge him a lot, Trevor. I was. I would say. I would say that in the next two months, I should get the replays working. <laughs> Just in time for the knockout 1.0 to be over. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Maybe the 2.0, uh -oh. too. Uh, that is another. I think that was the right shot, but it was tough. Real thin. All right. That shot was thinner than baby cheddar after Dale didn't feed her. Damn! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen your daughter. I have no idea what she looks like, by the way. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure that she is my daughter. I mean, she's so... Uh, okay, that came out completely wrong. She's 4'11". She's yours. That, <laughs> okay, that came out completely wrong. I, okay, I, I'm sorry. Um, so... The mailman. Lisa, no. So... Lisa, what are you doing I, here? I am blessed to have three kids that are, they're not maternally mine, <laughs> which is kind of obvious because I'm a boy <laughs> and always have been. Oh, what a cut. Wow, no doubt. A friendly bump that on the six. fabulous. So, is it hot in here? <laughs> it, well, it like is I'm after you... <laughs> Put your foot in your mouth a couple of times here. <laughs> oh, man. So Lisa was previously married, and they are my adopted kids, and they're friggin' awesome. They are awesome kids. Oh, fun. All 34 of them. <laughs> Baby Cheddar says, speaking of, Dad, I'm hungry. Son of a... <laughs> No pizza for you. I'm well, not even sure if they're mine. You know they're not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I, I am in serious trouble at the end of this stream. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst <laughs> one by far. <laughs> oh, man. I'm 
I'm sorry, baby cheddar. I'm sorry. I love you, baby cheddar. At least I'm even more sorry for you. I, lo- <laughs> I love you, Mrs. Cheddar. <laughs> I love you, string cheese out in California. Holy cow, what just happened there? That was not an intentional safe by Todd Schmidt. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I would have played safe <laughs> there, but it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. And I'd like to apologize. That is Michael Masevich there on the <laughs> microphone there, Todd. When you go back and watch this stream, just remember, <laughs> it was not me. Oh, I say the same thing all the time. I say it to Fong when he does that kind of crap to me. Never played Todd, but I know Fong will do that crap to me. Oh, yeah. Miss and then hook you? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> So what are we what are we ordering baby cheddar for dinner here? Ramen noodles. <laughs> Mad <laughs> Matt. Ooh. Well What's going on, Matt? He says, I'm doing a horrible job of babysitting you. <laughs> 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 Trevor. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Trevor. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Trevor's not wrong. <laughs> and I don't know, were you already here when. So, Trevor is six foot five, 325 pounds. I heard you talking about that on my drive here. And he's, he's going to come up here and bench press me. <laughs> um,. Which I I did not agree to, but I don't think I really have a choice in the matter. Yeah, I mean, if he does come up here, so anyway, that's probably really that's really good advice. <laughs> Wait, you're coming home again, baby cheddar? She just wants to grab the salsa. Who's who's the one that makes salsa? Fred Renner. Fred Renner. Where's the salsa, Fred? Yeah, right, right up here. He says, "Didn't your dad send salsa back with you?" Oh, yeah. Fred, Fred's the man when it, and he makes ditch weed, pickled asparagus, best di- ditch weed this side of the border, and that border would be Illinois. little interesting angle on this two ball. He's going to have to come down table and hopefully not get hooked on the eight ball. I think I'd take the four first. That's going to work you, out great, though. Unless you play shape like this. That's perfect. Yeah. little awkward angle on the four to get to the eight. Thank you. Captain Obvious. Obvious Savage. <laughs> Well, what are you doing here? Commentate. I mean, kinda, oh, if I was playing, kind of. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play pool anymore. I don't get to play. That's fabulous. That's a good shot. Great speed. Yeah, straight in on the eight ball. Let's give you this gorgeous view of what it's going to look like for Todd to be shooting this shot. Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? That great, is, great camera cool. work. You got these in good spots. Oh, Fred said he wants to see you <gasps> get bench pressed on the stream. Are you serious? That did not just happen. No way. Oh, man. Wow. I did not expect that at all. Well, I'm sure Todd didn't either, but... He hit that dead straight. I'm watching the... Instant replay. Oh, 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 oh! That ended oh. up a lot different than what he was hoping for. I think. I think so too. I don't think that's where he was playing shape, but he'll take it. Yeah. I think he was going to play it in the side. I think he was going to play it in the same pocket. He shot the fifteen. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Anyway, four to two should be three to three, but I'm not going to tell Todd that. Well, Todd knows. He does. This is true. Now, like we were talking about earlier with Tom and Nina, he's got to keep that out of his head. Mental toughness here. (laughs) (laughs) 
If you hear that. All right, let's that's... let's see what Todd's up to over there. He's uh, ignoring the fact that he missed he that ball. He is probably listening to the stream. Don't recommend well, it. Uh, yeah, I no. <clears throat> that would be a really bad idea, just so you know. What else is going on? Oh, there's a pool game. Oh, we got Fong Break in here. Nice strong Drilling break. them. Holy Ooh. crap. And that 315 doesn't look great, but a lot of balls to break those out. I think he could do it right now. I think I would actually play the four ball and come cross table to break, break up that 315. What? Yeah. That's a terrible shot. <laughs> <laughs> terrible shot. Jesus. <laughs> wow. I don't like that at all. Wow. You and I are playing for cash after this match is over. <laughs> I don't like with. that at we're all. Gonna, we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see what you like and don't like. I don't like that one bit. He's playing the fourteen first. Oh, oh, no, he's got the fifteen. I was gonna say the fifteen oh, probably. Goes why by wouldn't itself. you play that first? That's what I said. You like the four God. balls for some reason. I don't know. Fred sa Fred Renner says uh, he's going to bench press me on the stream, he hopes. I think that's an excellent idea. Baby Cheddar says she wants to play you on the stream. What? She wants to play you on the stream. She knows she's not very good, but it'll be fun. She's calling you out. Seems that way. Uh, where's she going to school at? Madtown. Madtown. At the UW? No. Fong needs the right angle on this 12 to get to that uh oh i think this is perfect well mm -hmm. oh, not perfect but it, it'll lay out does that go between the one and the two if he has to is he going to draw back i think he is he can't he's not playing this in the side i don't know if it'll go but oh yeah <gasps> four ball four oh. ball yep he hooked himself he put a, a lot of schmutz uh, on that, that cue ball, ball. And he didn't need to. Yeah, not on that one. Spinning like a tornado. We Who almost, said that earlier? He almost spun the 12 ball out. Yeah. Who said that earlier? He spins it like a tornado. Uh, Trevor, I think. Trevor? Yeah. He almost, he almost <coughs> spun that 12 ball right out of the pocket. Well, we're going airborne. Yeah. How about the side view to see how this jump goes? I think that would be much prettier. On this jump, would you go in the corner or the side? I would play it in the side just for the simple fact that I am only jumping over a third of the four, four ball. Yeah. All right. It's a little bit more precise, but, eh. You know, actually, now that you say it, I think I would play the corner. I think so, Because it's a bigger pocket from this angle. I think so. And he went side and oh, drills it. Oh, my gosh. Just talking us right out of our own shots. <laughs> That's a great jump. Where's the instant replay? Yeah. Uh, get that. Man. Somewhere in September, we should, <laughs> should have that ready. <laughs> Knockout Challenge 4.0 is going to be lit. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor says, a signed safety waiver and enough cash, and he'll bench press you on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's fair Man. enough. That's fair enough. I agree on the waiver part. A couple people chiming in saying, great jump by Fong, and it was. Auto play last replay. Well, missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. Fong I suck at streaming. I'm telling you. Fong's breaking them good. Just nothing going. Said that how many times, Reddy? I'm not good at this. You know, 
by knockout 4.0 you might have this figured out you know honestly i think by then i i will have at least half of this <laughs> intact <laughs> by then i'm probably you know with everybody that has liked and shared and subscribed i think i'm probably going to be completely retired by september <laughs> cuz i am up to i think four Four dollars and eighty six cents I made last month <laughs> off for <of> YouTube. <laughs> off my subscribers. So Yeah, I think you can I'm, I'm well on my way. I think you can quit your day job now. Without a doubt. And uh my day job is singing in the Greenville choir. You wanna hear some? Is it any better than your commentary? Mark Schmidt, what did you say? I can't see it. The heart's in the way. Too bad he made it. <laughs> well, judging by the last name, I think he's rooting for Todd. Yeah, that's a that's really fair. good possibility. <laughs> that's R fair. Really, really good possibility. Uh, Trevor, what were you saying earlier about <laughs> Captain Who? <laughs> that's not even worth a full laugh. You know, next time I'm leaving you in the booth by yourself. <laughs> Came up a little cheddar on this five ball. He, he wanted about another two balls further. Because now he's got to cut this and then he's going to run into the 15. Straight into it. But the only thing that's going to his advantage is the 15 is going to stop the cue ball from flying around the table. And then he'll be, be able to play the seven in the corner. Unless he hits this at the <clears throat> perfect speed where the 15 gets in the way. Oh. Ooh. Poopy. Well, you got to make the five too. Yep, that that's helpful. It's good speed. Got the fifteen past the way. All right, if I'm Fong, and I'm not, <laughs> I would shoot the thirteen ball and run into the fourteen fifteen and break that up because that is trouble. I don't think he can make the fourteen here, can he? You're looking kind of no right down no, the, the line. No, the fifteen's in the way. I think. You know what? Amen, Fred Runner. Couldn't agree more. Just sh shame, 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 shame. I think I like, oh, I don't like how far you rolled back. I like making that ball. I was going to say that. But you wanted to stay on that side of the table. Because that eight ball still tied up. Mm -hmm. You leave him on this side of the table, he's got no chance at it. But giving him a chance here. Dumper Dan in the house. What's up, Dan? Who won the earlier match? Well, I'll tell you, it was Tom and Nina. He beat Roger Pregler. 9-7. Nine, 9-7 seven. Nine, seven and 9 ball. Baby Cheddar, get back in the chat and get these likes and subscribes and shares up. Yeah. <clears throat> what she said. All right, good angle on the 7 to get to the 4. The issue is getting from the four to the eight, because that I think you is only one pocket for that eight ball, and that is right where the thirteen is. Yeah, I think you needed maybe a little more angle on the seven, so you could put like top left on the four to get behind the eight. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike. I had a shot. Let me do that. this for you, and we'll we'll yeah. determine that from that view right there. I think is I think he's in good shape right here. I, I, I think it's it. perfect. Oh, that one came up short. He needed to go about two more balls to get behind that eight. Now, uh, he's in deep doo doo. Yeah, you you really needed just a slight angle. Now you just need a ton of left. Yeah, you and hope you it catches. Yeah, you're still not getting behind that eight S from there. Straight left and hope it catches. No. Not going to happen. Well, then I think I think you're drawing out of this and banking the eight. Oof. Three rails into the <laughs> upper left <laughs> what? corner? <laughs> I what? I don't think it goes one rail past the 11. I think you got to go... I think I could come out and bank this three rails. 
Sounds easy enough, especially stretching all the way across the table. Yeah. Um, 13's in the way, probably. No. No, maybe not. No. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. That's the shot I see. Michael Johnson says, good choice, but hit it too hard. What do you hit too hard? I think he hit every one of those shots too soft. Agreed. Or are you talking about Fong shot? Making that five ball. Oh, man. Yeah, and that's the worst thing you could do is is hook yourself. Yeah. And not now he doesn't even have a kick at the ball. Yeah, now you got to play the jump bank three rails. <laughs> Which I practice that all the time. <laughs> Every day I come in. I mean, it's dead at least. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't really see an option here. I, I don't see how he's even going to hit the ball. And Fong's got seven balls on the table. I don't see anything to play a defense with either. He's got a lot of options to get out of this. Hey, Michael Johnson, watch your language in the chat. Oh, my gosh. What is he doing? There's there's minors in here. Sorry, baby cheddar. She's not a minor. She's under 21? That's what I meant. Oh. <clears throat> Drinking. Minor. Yes. No. She's not allowed in Varsity Club plus 8 o'clock, okay? Baby cheddar, how old are you? <laughs> tell him. You tell him. You tell Michael. What a hit. Great what hit. What a fabulous hit. Great hit. Told you you'd hit it. <laughs> Jeez, you're so negative. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, Michael Johnson just mistyped a word. Just giving him Gabriel crap over Stark. There. What are you up to, man? He's giving you money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a good guy there. Yeah, Gabriel's a good dude. Well, I don't know what Thank you, Mr. Stark. I greatly appreciate it. That, that goes a long ways. That puts me $4.99 closer to retirement for this year. Well, other than the... The eight dollars he spent on food here today. So now, now we get now he's only down three dollars. I'm I get an employee <laughs> discount, so I only spent four. Well, there you go. Now you're up a dollar. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> Twenty nine. Oh, that was pretty close. Who? He's yeah. He he's digging himself not, a hole yeah, out of this. Though. He did not leave himself with an easy shot here. What did Michael, uh, Michael Johnson said? What? <gasps> Shit, Fong plate. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Johnson. That's why what in the heck is wrong? Are you out of your in mind? I told him he this is a language. family show. Son of a. Look at Brittany talking crap in the chat. She said he can get a good hit, but no good if nothing goes in. Damn. Damn. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, very nice shot. Yeah. That's was. well well done. Baby Cheddar says her fake ID says she's twenty nine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait whoa, a whoa, second. Whoa. Joseph Marwis. <laughs> You got any money for uh Fong's not making this an easy out. No, he's not. No, he is not. He's making shots, but man, he's making them hard. Sooner or later that'll catch up to you. Hundred percent. It's like leaving yourself six footers for par all day long. Yeah, and there you that that just did it. Now it's gonna be five to three. Oh well, don't say it yet. Oh, uh, this is this is almost Impossible to miss. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Michael Johnson says he needs one of those beepers. I'll tell you what, I've got six of them in the house at home. So pretty much everywhere I go, because Lisa doesn't, she stops, she, I mean, she swears at everything. 
So I'm constantly, I'd walk around. I mean, it's literally like every second of the day. Am I right, baby cheddar? Yeah, because you didn't dig a deep enough hole talking about her earlier. Is it, <laughs> does anybody feel like they're the, in the ER right now? Does anybody feel like, uh, you know, there's like a heartbeat? Like you're just about to... Oh, it doesn't... I can't hold it down where it flatlines. All right. Enough of that. Horse hockey. Three to five. Todd Schmidt breaking. In this race to eight. I am going to attempt something. Don't be scared. Don't I'm be scared. scared. I'm scared. So here's here's what I'm going to do. Just remember to hit play. <laughs> We're going to... Oh, wait a second. Go to this view first. And then... All right. You see that? So... I just hit now let's go back <laughs> I got it I got it wait a second instant replay buddy what oh it's a beautiful thing now if you can just figure out how to keep that working oh I love it whoa, whoa oh whoa. I know how to do it now Baby cheddar. I just I just figured out how to do it. I am so excited. Baby cheddar says Mom only cusses when she's drunk, but you <laughs> have the potty mouth. <laughs> Little Dale Lorenz cheddar. Speaking of potty mouth. That's what it looks like. That is what it looks like at our home. This is the cheddar. Homestead. Um, bathroom of, of course, Little Cheddar, myself, and Baby Cheddar, and Mrs. Cheddar, and String Cheese, and Limburger. <laughs> little, Limburger. little Limburger, which is our middle child. All right, enough of that. Fong just pocketed a solid and is probably going to attempt to dislodge this two and eight from each other um it did but he mission missed. accomplished but he forgot the most important part of that shot was to make the object ball i've never done that before have you nope never i've never missed a ball ever me either Trevor. I think we're going to have to block Trevor pretty soon. We're going to have to block baby Cheddar. Yeah, we She's exposing all the secrets. Look at Brittany and the Schmitz going back and forth, cheering for their favorite players. The what? Oh, you guys can probably hear him blowing cheddar out of his nose right now. I don't know if you heard that through my mic. Well, if they didn't, thanks for clarifying for everybody. That's he thought he was excellent, it, but it was loud. Excellent professionalism there. I think I heard it coming through the mic. Mess. Mediocre commentary. That's that's why we are where we are. We we will never get any better. Uh, and, and that's pretty much our goal. Is that Andy Coons? Is it, what? Is that Andy? Right? Is that right? That is Andy. He says you're dropping the, <laughs> the cheese curds in the old cheddar <laughs> toilet there. <laughs> wow. It's getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. All right. Here's. I think. I think Todd's doing it again. It's clearing the table for Fong. Ooh. Yeah, I saw it and Todd saw it. 
Did you see it? I saw it. All right. I saw it too. All right. Well, Fong with a great opportunity. <gasps> did you notice what he did there? So he was all set to fire and then got back up out of it and then really didn't reset and focus on that shot. He just got down and shot it. And uh, honestly, 99% of the time, that's why you miss with ball in hand. <coughs> that is, That was just a complete lack of focus. What a major swing if this ends up going in Todd's direction. Well, I think because it sh it should it should be six to three right now, and left him with the hardest ball, yeah, on the table is the eleven set up. You know this is ideal. Now he can just float down and back out, play the nine, come back out. And he's got the perfect angle for the twelve to get to the eight. Wow, this is starting to look like. Oh, don't want too much. Yeah, he's fine. Just a smidge of high right. Yeah, just, just a smidge. Play it off the other rail. Oh, my. He under Short. hit that terribly. Ooh. Yeah, that is not the leave you wanted on the end. No, 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 no. So now he's got a super thin cut. Yeah. I mean, he could play it in the side. I wouldn't recommend it. No. Um, let's go to the overhead. I think he's got the bank. And see what And then you might block the seven is. if you Boy, miss. This is right at the 50-yard line. What do you think about the bank? Uh, no. Then you, uh, oh, you mean it blocked the seven? Yeah, yeah it's not a bad two-way shot. He went for the side <gasps> off the three, and it just rattles off of both points. Wow. Well, if Fong... Can concentrate here. <clears throat> that one's gonna cost Todd. But I, that was a good shot off the three. A little wild there. <laughs> All right, Andy. It's enough out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just because your sponsor doesn't give you extra privileges in the chat. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. He did it again. No, Fong. Wow. I, is the pressure getting to these guys? Man. Yikes. Holy schmutz. Ooh, I didn't expect that. Fong's All right, player break. A little break. Now we can go through some of these things you were messing around with before the match. What was I messing around with? Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's go through some stuff. How about some of this stuff? So, uh, player profile on each one of the fellers here. Uh, Fong Wen is 35 years old. He doesn't look a day over 34. I wouldn't say so. You no, know, at all. It's all that pho he's been eating. Right? Look at the smile on his face. He's a happy, happy, happy man. Uh, lives in Kakana, Wisconsin. Been playing for 17 of those 35 years, which is That's he started. Half. Yeah, wow, you're really good at geography. <laughs> Favorite game is one pocket, which nobody plays in the state of Wisconsin anymore, hardly. Other than I know Matt Daber does and Adam Starkle and What's he Craig Powers. About? And his, his favorite game is cribbage. Pool game, you schmutz. <laughs> playing Q is a McDermott. And favorite restaurant of as of many of the players is Texas Roadhouse. I think like half of the final eight. Yeah, uh, he has currently KO'd Chris Green eight to four, and Jim Reese eight to five, and this thanks to Matt Strong, our player spotlight is sponsored by Strong Knife Company, and we thank him very much for his sponsorship, as always. So if we are, you know what? I'll tell you what. You get to look at my face 
while I actually change this. Well, it's if better that, than my face. If that, if that works for you. Oh. Are they back? They're not back. Just one. I think Fong needs to go take a step outside and get a, a mental break. Breath from of fresh air. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We'll do this. Because those were, those were <coughs> two bad misses. We're going to put Todd's up there. I'll let you handle this one. Well, Todd, I don't know him very well, but it's it's nice to get a little info. He's 40. Does not look 40. Um, Plymouth, Wisconsin. Where is that? Yeah, it looks like 42. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Plymouth, Wisconsin at? Over by know? Sheboygan. Sheboygan, so on the other side of the lake. Yes. Been playing for 15 years. Got a nice stroke. Favorite game is 8-ball. Same as me. I like 8-ball. Playing with a Nova Q. Hell yeah. That's what I play with. Fav- oh, then it's a bad choice. <laughs> Favorite restaurant is Schwartz's. St. Anne. St. Anne. Yeah, baby. He, speaking of Schwartz, he's knocked out Derek Schwartz. Uh-huh. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> and Brent Lucas. One of my sponsors. One of the sponsors. And that player spotlight is... Sponsored by Rich Stadler of Billet, actually Rich and Sue Stadler of Billet Spin here in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. All right, players have returned, and we are going to get on to the match. All right, well, we got a dry break from Todd after that easy win Fong gave him. Yeah, what a major turn of events here again. Um, Michael Johnson chiming in saying, I don't think it's pressure that got to him. Fong really overlooks the easy shots. He stands up too quick. Which is a possibility. I never pay attention enough to see that from people players. But, ooh. Yeah, James Schmidt, I think he hit the nail right on the head there. At, at very early Christmas, or late Christmas present, however you want to look at it. Christmas was like three months ago, so... Let's go with late Christmas present. Yeah. I like that Nine part. months is a long... Long ways away. I might not even make it that far. You never know. Not the way you've been talking about your family today. <laughs> <laughs> Holy font. What did. What? Man. That was terrible. Says Taylor Collar. <laughs> <laughs> Fong needs to refocus. He's. Anybody who has ever watched the Matt Apple stream. Finds that very freaking funny. If you don't, then get the hell out of here. Just get up. I don't think I've ever heard that on the Mad Apple stream. The crickets? Or Taylor? Taylor. You've you've never heard that? Are you serious? No. Are you being serious? I'm serious. Wow. Is that what Taylor does on yeah, the stream? He's he <laughs> said many times. They, they, have, they have a recording of it. <laughs> he hit that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. All right. Well. Commode. Oh, okay. That makes more sense, uh, Andy Coons. Hit oh, the oh man. boy. Right in the old uh <laughs> Okay, you're not allowed to sing along with that. That is so unprofessional. <laughs> As if the sound effect it, itself <laughs> Since when isn't. Since this has been professional? <laughs> All right, good point. All right, well, Fong needs to get his mentals right. I think Todd has got his mentals right. He's got a little bit of a comeback going. You know, that w- it's definitely the right shot. Um, yeah, it's the just biggest issue is there. yeah that six ball is. I think the six ball is not even a problem. No, as long as you save save the seven for last, 
you're in good shape. Actually, yeah. I think this is probably the. Don't hit the one. Yeah, this is good. I play two five one seven six. Hundred percent. Just a stop shot on the one. Hundred percent. Seven. Six in the corner. Eight in the side. Uh, barring like a natural disaster or anything, I think this is going to be five to five after or, the next or us five talking. balls or. or <laughs> 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 uh, you are a. Mu <laughs> I don't. I don't like this shot. I do not like this choice. No, I would have gone five first. Me too. I don't like. Yeah, I would have gone five first. Here, here's the thing. Now, he can slow roll this, but this is one of those shots that this five could skid on him because he has to hold this cue ball relatively straight. Yep. Otherwise, he's going to have a really bad angle on the seven. Yeah, or he's gonna have to go back and forth. I don't like that either. Oh, yep. I, there it is. Mm, wow. I would have never guessed that that was gonna be the outcome of this. See, look at what you did, Michael. <laughs> You Un were the one that opened your mouth. Unbelievable. <laughs> Again, that was uh, Michael Masevich. They call him the Savage. Um, my, I just got back from the bathroom. Trevor says it's easier to get from five to seven. No, it's not. From the, than the one to the seven? No. The one was five inches from the seven. You can't get any easier than that. Correct. And the one was a hanger in the side. Brittany. Man, she is talking trash in the chat. I'm not saying that. <gasps> no, Fong. Not again. That's a direct... What? It's a what? <laughs> that is a direct result of being jacked up over that eight ball. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Too many scratches here. I like Trevor's comment there. That's funny. That is some funny right there. I don't care who we are. If you don't like it, get the out. Ooh, James Schmidt coming back with the trash talk back to Brittany. <laughs> They're going back speaking, and forth. Speaking of fundamentals. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yikes. I need to put boxing gloves on you two. <laughs> Jeez. We got a KO challenge going on in the chat. <laughs> I love it. I mean, KO 2.0s between <laughs> Brittany Wynn and James Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good stuff man wait doesn't he have stripes <laughs> just kidding wait get, a second what a, what no he he's solids i'm joking i just don't i don't think i wouldn't have even shot it that way i would have played the five seven six eight i don't mind this the the eight goes in the opposite corner i understand that nine. but you're leaving yourself a longer shot from the uh, never mind if he gets out then it's five to five and i should just sit here and shut up and commentate that's your job mike <laughs> okay, and that's mike masevich <laughs> at uh, varsityclub.com <laughs> we are outer point streaming soon to be banned from youtube <laughs> again uh, again See, I like that. You got so much more room on this side of the table. I agree. I like I like getting that six ball out of the way. I, I like that route actually. Yeah, I hundred percent. Yeah, I kind of agree with Michael. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't like that. Too much cue ball movement. Yeah, I like yeah. stop, 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 stop. You make it look easy. You know. Guess what, folks? We are all knotted up at five apiece. A tie ball game. Fong is kicking himself right in the old eight balls over there. Just right in the keister. What haven't we talked about? I think we, I think we <laughs> gotta I bet talk you, about your sponsors. I bet you our chat is like, don't you guys ever shut up? <laughs> we try not to. 
you know what? That's a really good point there. Why don't we put some of those up there, shall we? I I tell you, I can't thank you guys enough. Aside from the viewers themselves, is why we're here. But if you look at this list of people, that's how I survive, and uh, I cannot thank them enough. That's what feeds the baby cheddar. Yep. This is where the pizza comes from, which is why you aren't getting any. Actually, this is what's paying for the 15 grand worth of equipment in this booth. A lot of time, a lot of money going into this stream. I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I mean, this I'm having so much fun. Hey, if you do what you love. I love what you do. It ain't work. All right, back to the pool table. Uh, Todd has pocketed a ball. A lot of trouble on this one, though. Yeah, there's there's a whole lot of... You know what? I'm, I'm going to go through this real quick, just for the simple fact. Todd's going to be thinking for a little while. Yeah. Um, so that middle name, I kind of left off before when I had the sponsors up there. So Cody Retlick is the one that did uh, my video in the very beginning down at Sussex Bowl and did an amazing job. He owns what's called Drone Adair as well, and it's a platform for uh, drone pilots. All right, now I have to move back over. Todd decided to take solids. You know, the only trouble... Is, oh, no, I didn't see the six hiding behind the 14 here. This is ugly. Trouble's the six, <clears throat> the seven, and the four right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think you got the angle on the two to get the six out, and you might have too much angle to get the seven out. <laughs> Trevor, did you think winter was over with? Like so many other people that live in Wisconsin their entire life? I mean, seriously, it's March. It's not. I, I was telling the family, we were driving around. It was 72 degrees outside three weeks ago. Yeah. And I said, I'm telling you, it is going to snow again before this winter is over. And lo and behold, we had, what, three inches the night before last. And then another inch last night. I think it's still going to snow one more time. Oh, for sure. I think we're going to get about 27 inches next week. Well, let's not go that far. I think it'd be awesome. <laughs> go Fong Bong. Sounds terrible. He hit that horrible. What a shot. It was <laughs> fabulous. Oh, it was man. fantastic. Brittany, now what do you do? Brittany and Kevin need to duke it out. <laughs> Give the table back and put the two by the box. Wow. Damn, Brittany and yeah. You go. <laughs> Kevin. And Andy with the curds and whey. I think we need well to get played. Kevin and Brittany in the booth talking about this match. Oh, I love that idea. <laughs> I love I'll tell you what, why don't you guys come up here? Man. Mike and I are gonna sit and have a beer together and watch the rest of this match <laughs> and you guys can commentate. <laughs> I think that is a fabulous Forget idea. Forget no bias. I want all bias. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go from zero to a hundred in like four seconds flat. All right. Well, we got ourselves an ugly table. This is going to be an important rack. Speaking of ugly tables, check this out. I think it's going to look great in my basement. I do. <laughs> All right, purposely pocketing. Ooh. Not yeah. the cue ball wasn't I'll tell on you purpose. What. Here. Because I did a boo-boo, I'll tell you what. Watch. See if it works again. <laughs> I got that. There's the replay. Oh. And pockets the cue ball as well. I think the cue ball was the mistake. I know how to do the replay. That's impressive. <laughs> All right. And I can do slow mo too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. This chat. <laughs> uh, baby Cheddar. Uh, you might want to check your spelling on one of those words. That's <laughs> if we're still talking about snow, I will not be doing that with it. 
Man, she made it to college? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I will not be... <laughs> I will not be putting that snow anywhere in that kind of reference. You shove it. <laughs> you shove it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fong missing the breakout here. <laughs> what was that? Oh, safety. <gasps> that was well played. That was well played. That is tight on the back little, side of that eight ball little lucky with the two ball not bouncing out all right let's but. i'm gonna give you the overhead because this thing is right on top of that eight ball leaving the only shot being the four ball with no pocket yeah you can't even kick at these other two balls well played fong Damn. Kevin Schmidt in front of a microphone? Is that a bad idea? Man. Oh. Just messing with you, baby cheddar. You aren't shoving snow anywhere. She's not shoveling it either, I'm sure. Well, I bet. <laughs> you want you want pizza? <laughs> <laughs> you shovel. If you want dinner tonight, yeah. you better shovel. If, <laughs> if, if you want pepperoni on your pizza, you better shove that snow. <laughs> All right, here's the break on the 14, in my opinion. I would pocket the 11, run into the backside of the 6 with a little bit of pace, and make sure that you get out for the 9 in the side. I like that. I don't like this I, shot. I don't like this shot. This, like this, is, shot. this is the wrong order, especially if you do that. Oh, don't hit the six. <gasps> oh, he got a little fortunate there. Yeah. If he, he gave him the if he would have given him the six, that could have been loss of game. That could have been another <clears throat> chance for you to jinx one of the players. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fong's just not focusing right Kevin, now. Kevin uh, says uh, very good, he's on his way. Fantastic. <laughs> she says she has your spelling. Yeah. No one to blame but you. Wait a second. Tim Gamerdinger? I guess he's making a shirt for Todd? Does that sound right? Mark Schmidt said... Uh, you don't want Kevin in front of a microphone. What are you doing, Tim? He said very bad. See, sometimes the chat comes through like right away, and then then sometimes there's like a delay on it. And if you're over, uh, well, that's a good shot. That's not bad. Yeah, tight on the rail there. Um, if you know if you are on Facebook, get on over to YouTube because a um, we're streaming in 1080p, and it's a better quality platform in the first place. <laughs> What? Huh? What did you say? Don't, 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 don't. <gasps> don't, don't scratch. Don't. Oh, that's been all close. Man. So it's a, a, the same crappy commentary on, on YouTube. It's just it's you're better off in the instant replay and stuff like that is now working. And I don't know if you, the clarity on Facebook is just not impressive. We did start out on Twitch, and we did that for about a year. And I think we have like three subscribers on Twitch. So <laughs> we just kind of <coughs> poo pooed that idea. That and I don't know how to connect anymore. Mama Cheddar will say otherwise. <laughs> All right. That would be uh, Michael Masevich at uh, <laughs> varsityclub.org. I think Mama Chad is going to make you shovel. I have a snowblower. The baby don't shovel. <laughs> this baby don't shovel, man. I think he was trying to attempt pocketing that 12 ball. I think so, too. Um, and I think that might be the opening Fong needs. That nine ball's not tied up at all. 
I think I am going to thin cut this 11 ball, run into the 6 or the 14, either one. Yep. And bust those out of there because then you're almost guaranteed a shot on either the 12 or the 9. <laughs> Brittany, she is tearing up the chat. Let's go, Fong Bong. Roland? I Roland's tearing Fong Bong too? Yep, that's a good shot. I like it. I think that was well played. Oh, my God. Like Did that leave. settle back on the, the... Yeah. He's got it. He's got the nine. I don't know if he does. I'm looking right at it. He does. It's clear. What? He doesn't He's have it. Me. He does have it. He doesn't have it. I can see it. I can see clearly now. I don't think you're seeing anything clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine is gone. No, that was. I don't think he had it. As aggressive as Fong is, if it was there, he would have gone for it. I don't think his eyesight's very good. <laughs> I think his. <laughs> Brittany, does he need an optometrist? I'll bet you he doesn't see very good at home either. Did you, honey, did you see those socks laying there? No. <laughs> nope. Honey, did you see that underwear that you left in the hallway? God, you sound nope. like Justine. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what underwear? What underwear? Justine says a bad day to pack away the snow gear. Yeah, right. Well, especially if we get Dale's prediction of 26 inches. Seven. 27? 27, I oh, saw. Oh, man. Even worse. Well, we got ourselves a chess match in this rack. One third of our viewers have already liked this stream. But not quite as many have shared it. So if you do get an opportunity to do that, I would greatly, oh. greatly appreciate that. I like this. That was a really good shot, other than the fact that he has the nine ball. He can make the nine ball and then come back and make the combo yep. and win this game. But I, I still <clears> like it. You didn't have much else from there. No, he didn't. Made it a tough out. Good shot on that. A little short on the combo. Ran into the four ball. I don't know if he can play the carom because the the two is going to stop the 14 from traveling a long ways. So if he plays the carom and makes the 12, he might be able to pocket the 14 in the side. Oh, wait. He can play the 12 straight on. Just go right between the two and come around and play the 14 on the same side. There we go. Huh. Duh. It's hard to see from this angle. It is. It is. It is. Especially sitting low. Oh, that's a good one. That's, <laughs> that's not everything's real, a short joke. That's okay? real funny. Not everything is a short joke. That sure sounded that way. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Sitting so low. <laughs> All, All right. right. We well, got the rattles out of his system with Fong, that eight ball. Fong is back in the lead. This is where the old uh, glutes starting to, you know, <laughs> tighten up a little bit. The old. Uh, what time did this match start? I think one o'clock, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm this one kidding. Was for five? Yeah, this. It's only been an hour and fifty minutes. That's not bad at all. Well, it still took longer. It's taking longer than mine took on and Friday. This, well, yeah, you guys didn't miss any shots at all. <laughs> you guys played well. Wow. Let's let's let let's finish the match first, so you can get your head out of the booth. <laughs> <laughs> right, Justine? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Don't I'll, don't ask her. She's the one did, inflating it. Did, oh, <laughs> yeah, she pumps it up. Yeah, does she really? <laughs> Baby Cheddar says everything is oh. a short. Yeah, she should know too. <laughs> Four foot eleven. 
Chatter, tell Varsity to get you a booster seat. <laughs> I'm already in one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, pop the cue ball off the table. See if Todd can find an out here. Tie it back up. Again, if you haven't already seen this, this is what everybody's playing for. Started out with 32 players. Whoever won the first round, they got a chip. And ever since then, they get to take the opponent's chip away that they beat. So they continue to accumulate chips, and then, oh, I don't think I loaded that other picture yet. I'll tell you what, you do some mediocre commentary, and then uh, I'm going to do some... I do the subpar commentary. Subpar. Subpar, mediocre. Yeah, but yeah. Is there a difference? You did a good one. Is there a difference? Just different words for bad commentating. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Justine says, you are always right, Dale. I'll tell, I'm going to give you Lisa's number right now. <laughs> if you get a pen and paper, uh, Justine, um, and then text her that, that would be fantastic. Because <laughs> according to her, I have never been right. And which is honestly, it, it probably that's uh, like half truth. <laughs> we all know the wife is always right. Yep. Even when she's wrong, she's right. Yep. Even when I'm right, she's right. Yeah, preaching to the choir, brother. All right. Well. Paul's got a decent-looking table if he can get onto this 2-4, but this is an ugly angle on the 1. <laughs> Looks like he's going to have to try to cut this, come around the 12 and hit three rails to get to that six three. One, two, three, four rails. And lays up on the six nicely. So we had the same thought on that. Still has to figure out this four two. Four will go in the corner from the angle I'm sitting at. I don't see the side pocket for the two. So he's going to have to shoot the four first. Makes this a tricky out. Almost as tricky as Dale playing around on the computer. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not a lie. Yeah, he hit that horrible. Yeah, he did. Short rolled that by a mile. A Dale mile. Which that was, is about two feet. That's <laughs> all right. Well, Fong, <laughs> figure this out. This this is the picture that I took earlier. I like here it. here is uh, so there is all sixteen. Um, what did I call them? Challenge chips. So they are obviously two sided. Uh, outer point streaming on one side and Varsity Club on the other side. So. When you take your opponent's chips, they go in your pool case or wherever else, and on top of the table at the very end will go all the chips, and then you get to take them home. That is the trophy. And Fong has not. He's got What's he doing? The eight into the nine. Oh, that's an intentional. Foul as who was that earlier talking about that? Trevor? Derek Schwartz. Derek. The intentional foul. Here's the thing with the intentional foul. Not only does it make it you know, actually I think it's a good idea. Because Fong can still play the bank on the eight if he needs to. Todd, on the other hand, has to get the nine 
out of there, out. which I would personally do right now. I play safety right back. I knock the nine out of there. Yep. I play a safety right back. Yep. Hundred percent. I just play that nine straight into it with a little bit of top and leave him straight dead on the two four. I think this is a mistake, pocketing balls. Unless, okay, so. Got an angle on this Yes, I think he could just play like a smidge of high right and softly run into the nine eight so you don't pocket the eight ball. If you hit it hard, you can pocket the eight. That's going to work. I think he hit it too hard, but it, it came out. All right, I am going to play this 15 all day long first. Uh, yeah, he's off the rail. I would draw this 15 back and... 15 to 12, yeah. 9, 8, done, finish, tie, 6 to 6, be done, start racking. He should be able to draw this back for the 12, right? Yes. He could play a stop shot and play the 12. Yeah. Come twice across and game over. Oh, I don't like this at all. Ooh. I don't either. That was way, way more aggressive than necessary. I think he could have He's got a straight. bad angle on this 12 now. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to squeeze over to the right, and that makes it a lot tougher to hold the 9 ball for the 8. And it's easier to rattle the 12. Man, I don't like it. And you're putting Fong on the right side of his balls. Easy. Family show. Easy. Family show. Yep. Oh, and he hit him. Rattle, oh, rattle. That's the worst. Um, but Ooh, they did he not did not leave Fong really. with a shot. Oh, actually he did. If that four does not go past, he can actually play this four off the eight if necessary. So let me give you the correct view. I still don't, I don't of like what that I'm, very much. Oh, boy. That's not easy. No. This is... That's enough. That's a fortunate leave after breaking those apart. That's that's just poopy. Baby Cheddar wants you to guess what she's eating right now. Pizza. Mark Schmidt says, "Great shot, Todd." Are you eating pizza? <laughs> Steak. What's the best pizza up there in Hortonville, Greenville? Now that I'm moving up there. What am I going to have to Stone Yard. Stone Yard. Actually, uh, Otter Creek is pretty good. They have really good pizza. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the place that had a deer jump into their window. Yes, it is. A couple weeks back, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, Stroh's, um, they are closed down now, and it's going to become a photography studio. Ooh, if this what? Will, if this will hold. Oh, oh my, my God. Are you serious? Is that what he wanted? Because that is Brilliant. I think he was playing safe. I think he was too. I think he actually kind of gave the hand signal of of playing safe. <laughs> Damn. That was I a great not, shot. Yeah, I did not see that. And I didn't see him using both outer points in the corner to stop the cue ball from scratching either. I like him using the eight, though, to, <laughs> to block those two balls. Yeah, right. I didn't see that. That was risky. Heck yeah. Baby well, Cheddar. where the cue ball ended up. She said she can't afford pizza. She's eating your ramen noodles. <laughs> That's funny. Um, if we're going to work on the guilt trip again today, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not happening, I'll tell you. It's working. Don't He's work. going it's three working. rails. I love this shot. Like I love rails, this huh? shot. But you better hit it a lot harder than what you just did. Nope, he's going to go right That's into the That's bowling two. in, and he's going to kick the two away and from the 12. he made the two easier. Oh, oh yep. my, oh, my, oh, my. That's going to end it. Yeah. That's going to put Fong on the hill. Or it Never mind. Never mind. I did not say a word. Curse. Fong bong. Tunnel left hand low. Spin it down the rail right in front of the eight ball. and Beautifully done. That's excellent. perfect. Excellent shot. Absolutely perfect. Now chalk your cue. Beautiful. Chalk your cue. You moved cued a couple times. All right. It looks like that's a, a hill winner. Fong is on the hill. Seven five it is. Todd is at five. Man. 
As always, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in on this Sunday afternoon. I don't know if it's snowing where you are, but it's I think it's still snowing by us. Um, kind of looks like it out that front window. It sure does. We are here live. Of course, this is Outer Point Streaming. That guy right over there to my right would be Mr. Uh, Mike Masevich. They call him the Savage. Uh, this is Dale Little Cheddar Lorenz. And this is match number three of round number three of KO 1.0. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> I can't believe I forgot it. I just thought of the. Shame, 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 shame. And if you thought the commentary is mediocre, <laughs> wait till you find out how the streaming works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. I cannot believe I forgot to make... Brittany rooting for Fong on the hill. Michael Johnson wants Fong to close it out. She's been rooting for Fong the whole entire match. Oh, that was not good. You just put that five in a Hairy horrible, spot. horrible spot. Roland Star says Fong's going to Texas Roadhouse after this. <laughs> <laughs> Todd is going up to the bar. <laughs> Baby cheddar guy. You need to fix that kid of yours. No, she said no, I shouldn't no, have no. to guilt trip you. It's your job to feed me. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. As a parent. <laughs> she she is not wrong. Oh man, that kid's well, got your smart mouth. You're two hours <laughs> away. It's kind of hard. Well, she's good when she comes in town. Last time she was in town, I was in the booth, and they were eating steak while we were eating Philly cheesesteak sandwiches here at the right. Varsity Club. Right. Where's my steak? Ooh. Uh-oh. This is bad news for Todd. He might be able to spin this 15 in, but I, I don't think so. Man, that is not the leave you want. Not a bad breakout, but... Yeah. He's going to try to put it in the corner. I don't like this, though. I don't like... The chance at double hitting. <sighs> he almost made the eight ball. You know, and he still really hasn't. He's painting himself into a corner again. Yeah, that nine's ugly. That ten is grotesque. Fourteen goes, though. Grotesque. <laughs> Baby cheddar. Man. I'm sure you eat just fine, baby cheddar. I'm not going to let the guilt trip work. <laughs> well, freed up the 10 a little bit, but it's in the same position as the 9, basically. Ugly. I think you gotta bank the 10 here. Mm. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, but he could play that. Oh, forgot to make Oh, don't make the eight ball. Don't scratch either. Don't scratch either. Oh. <gasps> Yikes. Man, how far off the table is that, or off the rail is that two ball? Will these two balls, that nine and 13, go past it? Yeah, and the big problem here is the one for Fong. I don't know where you... Oh, actually, that may go in the side. I think it does. Let's get that overhead view. Yeah, this, this match might be over with. There is a good possibility. I think you draw straight back into the six. Yep. And then play the two ball, one ball, and then the six ball, wherever it ends up. If that eight ball goes from anywhere on the table, that'll work, too. Yep, now I'm saving that two ball for last. I'm going to pocket the six. Six, one, two, eight. <coughs> Game over. 
Just like so. Yep, that looks good to me. This could be all she wrote for Mr. Todd Schmidt. Mm-hmm. There it is. This is going to wrap it up, folks. Congratulations to Todd Schmidt for making it to the final eight. Um, and congratulations to Fong Nguyen for Fong. moving on to the final four. That's Fong Bong to you. Fong Bong. And this <laughs> right here is what's coming up next after Knockout Challenge 1.0. This is the list of players. So That's a strong list. It is a really strong list, and here's the reason why I am doing this on the last input or the last flyer of the night. Um, Terrence Beck down in Milwaukee, he gave me a little bit of insight. I What I'd like to do is an online auction for these guys and raise a little bit more money and get some of that money out into the hands of the buyers themselves in a Calcutta. So... Take a look at the list, you know, find your favorite player. This is going to be anybody's tournament. Uh, I mean, there honestly, there is not a player on there that cannot win the whole entire thing. Well, unless I win the 1.0, then I can't get in there. Oh, yeah, that's right. So <laughs> if you look down at the bottom right, it says winner of KO 1.0, which is the one we're currently watching, obviously. Um, so if... Mike happens to get lucky and wins this one and gets into the 2.0. Um, Don't buy me in the <laughs> That's what he's saying. I didn't want to say it out loud while you were sitting here. But anywho, thank you, everybody, for uh, spending your Sunday afternoon with Mike and myself. Uh, we have enjoyed in the chat with you, as always, a great time. Um, Mike, you got anything to add? I don't. No. It's been a blast. I think that's it. Tune in Tuesday. Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. You know what? As and the redraw right after it. Immediately following that. And We're here, going to find out who the final four are. Here's what's coming up on Tuesday, 6 o'clock p.m., the last match of round three. And then we are done with the final eight, on to the final four. And then, just like Mike said, there is going to be a redraw immediately following that match. So, it's fun. This is this is getting down to the nitty-gritty. And it's probably going to be another week before we start playing again. we got Team State next weekend. Yep, 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 for so, sure. I know they're not playing that Sunday, but it'd be nice for you to spend some time with your family on Easter. I can't understand for the life of me why they're having WISPA teams on Easter Sunday. They're they're finishing it Saturday. Are they? Yeah, they're not going into Sunday, but it's a bad weekend altogether. It is. It is a bad weekend. Anyway, thank you, everybody. This is Dale Little Cheddar Lorenz. That guy right over there is Mike the Savage Smislavich. And uh, we are Outer Point streaming live at the Varsity Club in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your night, and we will see you Tuesday evening. I'll see you next round. Have a good one.